Welcome to the next section of our course, Event Driven Microservices, Developing and Testing with C-Sharp.net. And in this section, we are going to talk about integration testing and how that we can leverage the power of integration testing to test our application in and out. So we have been talking about this testing pyramid all these days, and we have already covered the UI testing as well as the API testing in our earlier sections of this course. So before we talk about the integration tests, let's first understand the disadvantage of the UI tests that we have been discussing all these days. So if you remember, we talked about the disadvantages of the API and the UI tests are these, like the entire application stack should be up and running all the time. And also the UI testing starts becoming fragile if the application keeps changing because it's all in UI and the tests are a bit slower because it has to launch the real browsers and stuff. And also the cause and effect of the change of the application will only be known until the application is fully deployed in the case of the UI test as well as for the API test, which is also another pain that we always encounter. And testing API should not be just one-sided since the change in the API definition is only going to be affecting the consumer side of the application, rather the producer side, which is nothing but the API itself will not be affected, but the consuming application, which is gonna be consuming the API is going to be affected. So testing of the API should not be just one-sided. We discussed about that in our earlier section. And also we told that both API as well as the UI test will become very costly considering the application running all the time in the cloud, even though you do it for the testing. If you want to mimic the actual state of your application, like the production state, or at least close to the production state, you should be running all these services all the time. And that's going to be costing you a lot of money. So how do we overcome all these disadvantages of the API and the UI test in a much, much sophisticated fashion? That's what we'll be covering in this integration testing. So the integration test ensures that an app's component functions correctly at a level that includes applications supporting infrastructures such as database, file systems, network, request response pipelines. And also the most important part of the integration test is it can be done between each and every component level rather the whole application infrastructure available at any given point of time like how we saw in the API as well as for the UI testing. And most important part of the integration test is that if you can see our architecture that we discussed earlier, you can see that if you want to do an integration testing between the customer portal and the customer service, then we can just test these two integration alone, rather the whole application up and running. And similarly, if we wanted to test the integration between the application and its database, then we can just have this particular interactions to be tested alone. Similarly, we can just keep splitting whole infrastructure into bits and pieces and then we can test them thoroughly so that while we mix them all together in one single gigantic application, we can write very minimal test over there because the integration test is already going to cover all these aspects of the testing of application. That is the power of this whole integration test. Well, how do we achieve all these application infrastructures to be available while we test even a specific component of the application? If that's your question, you ask the right question. Well, with integration test, we can run the application in memory instead of running the whole application in any costly AWS or Azure compute SKUs or something like that. Because this application is going to be spinned up along with the test code so that there won't be any application required all the time. So you don't really have to deploy the application at any given point of time. While your test runs, it is going to spin up the application in memory. It also gonna configure your in-memory database server or some other services that you really wanted to. And then it is gonna spin up and run all those tests. And once the test execution is done, it is gonna completely take down all the services or the containers running, and it's gonna just cost you as less as possible. And because this is gonna be integration test, you're not gonna be running like a UI test or a long running process of test there. It is gonna be much lesser time and also the coverage is gonna be much, much higher. So you can see that it is gonna cost you much lesser than the UI as well as the API testing counterpart. Well, as that said, how do we do this integration testing? Well, if you ask this question, well, in ASP.NET, we can do this 
infrastructure component such as test web host and the in-memory test server are provided or managed by the Microsoft ASP.NET Core MVC.testing NuGet package. So if we just install this particular package and a few other packages, you can see that we can run our whole application in the test web host rather the IIS server or any dedicated service. So that is the another great potential that we can get using the ASP.NET. And many other technologies, even in Java for Spring Boot, there is this mock server which runs in memory. You can run that and then you can test the application. The same thing can be achieved in the .NET world using this particular NuGet package. That's what we'll be discussing this whole section and you will understand the potential of the integration testing in much better fashion while we discuss about them.